Oi, oi, my name's David Deprived, and today I'm going to show you how to defeat the Flexile Sentry with ease. Firstly, what I'm going to do is summon my favourite drunk card nut. Seriously? Bag is a naughty word now? Fucking hell. Morning, geezer. What's happening? I don't want nothing to do with you. Wahey! You are wrecked, mate. And that's the way we like it. He fights better that way. So, firstly, I want to exploit how you can get to the boss room without having any enemies attacking you. Just run to the side of this doorway, and out they come. They even look at you, cheeky buggers. And in you go with the boss room at the bottom of the stairs. No obstacles in sight. Right, let's do this. The first piece of advice I can give is roll through all his attacks. If you block a free turn attack with a shield, your stamina is going to drain quickly, so just roll them. They are really easy to predict. On his final attack, his other half has a tendency to stagger. And he's a big bloke, don't get me wrong, but it's really quite noticeable. At the end of his attack patterns, which are usually a rule of three, smack him about a bit and then look out for the start of his next attack animation. Sometimes his entire body will stagger, giving you an opportunity to attack him multiple times. Now, as you can see, my club is at risk, and I thought not a better time than to kite him around a pole in the middle of the room, giving me time to use a repair powder. As long as you and the Flexile are opposite each other with the pole blocking in your view, his attacks will not hit you. Roll, roll, roll. Smack, smack, smack. It is as simple as that. Have you scrubs been paying attention? Good. Right, I think it's time we took you home, Bilbo. I've had enough of you for one evening, thank you. Woo-hoo-hoo! You need some coffee, mate. In a bit, guys. Drink responsibly and all that shite. See you later.